And uh, here's one of our team members presenting uh, our robot to legislative services. They're kind of off to the side. Uh, so once you get to the, to the presentation part, it's actually displaying what you've done this year. There's a formal presentation and there's an informal presentation. A lot of it has to do with the informal presentation. Um, the judges are always walking around listening to you, even when you don't know it. Um, and it's really the ultimate test to see if you're really a well-rounded team or not. In the formal presentation, um, you get just a couple minutes to relate everything you've done in the year, which may be quite difficult. But remember, again, to connect things back to the first values. Like I said, the Chairman's Award goes to the team that best exemplifies an FRC team um, and the values of first. So really focus on, well, you know, first says this, and we did this, you know, for this, and it affected people in these ways. And, you know, definitely emphasize that what you've done has had a good effect on your community. Um, keep in mind that when you have issues in your pits, yes, they happen, we're teenagers, um, that you need to keep gracious professionalism in mind. Um, if you get frustrated, maybe go on a walk, come back, it happens, you're in a very, very intense competition, but always make sure to keep your cool because that's the best way to have an efficient team. If anyone's mad at someone else, it doesn't work properly because everyone has their specific skills and you can't operate without a member of your team. So it's really important to keep, keep together as a team and the judges will see that. Um, again, more about you know what we did last year. I already went over that. Here's a picture of our kits. Um, team image is a big part of the chairman's award. Because um, it really kind of gets the team together as one specific view where the IRS, um, just in reference to Esquire Robotics Society. So we had cubicle walls, um, that's our chairman's poster in the back, um, pocket protectors, just, you know, the overall image. Your theme can be whatever you make it. Um, here's a you're just, they have a great sign that says you've just been audited. Yeah, we have, a, we have a judge that says prepare to be audited. Um, and when we went to the international competition in Atlanta, it was right after taxes were due, and uh, some adults didn't kind of avoid us. Um, <laughs> here's us uh, just driving the robot. Again, you know, just having your, your theme out everywhere. And once we got into the final rounds of the competitions, uh, specifically at the Microsoft Regional, we did things like we handed out our ties to our alliance partners. You know, you really kind of, you can wear other teams' hats. Just being enthusiastic is a large part of the chairman's award. Again, the Macarena. Macarena seems to be a theme in First Robotics. Um, and then this is this is the banner that you received with you and chairman. And there's the trophy. Um, and this really is a very rewarding experience. Oh, and this is us. Um, we actually got a spot on the local news um, to, to present our robot, another great PR opportunity. And again, you know, socializing with other teams, just being the best team that you can be and helping out others. This is us at the Air Force Base. You can see we're it's a multiple, multitude of teams all together. Have this picture. <laughs> okay, gracious professionalism. Um, as Kevin mentioned in the opening, it is nearly impossible to explain it in words. Um, this is the first definition. Um, honestly, uh, you can read it. Um, I'm not going to read all of it. One of the key phrases here is gracious professionals learn learn and compete like crazy, but treat one, one another with respect and kindness in the process. So it's important about, yes, being competitive, being passionate about science and technology, but also being you know respectful and involved in your community at the same time. Um, and GP, as you may hear it referred to, was coined by Woody Flowers, which, do you know what position he has in first? He's the uh, he's national founder. He's co-founder of the Okay, so co-founder, um, great guy. I have a tie signed by him, but it has all the three stains all over it. One of the hazards of first. Um, and gracious professionalism, as I've mentioned, is one of the very important uh, values of first. So here are all the other awards. Um, as a rookie team, if you feel like you're maybe you don't have, uh, maybe you're losing, you. You don't have um, mechanical mentors, you don't have an electrical mentor, that's perfectly fine. You can concentrate on one field if you like and focus on one specific goal. Um, don't let your resources constrain you because there's always an option in first. Um, there's the Engineering Inspiration Award, um, which is you know advancing respect and in your community for science and technology. You can get this one by, um, by being involved in your community and it's the second highest award under Chairman's Award. There's a Woody Flowers Award for um, engineers or teachers who have gone the
the, um, the extra distance and making sure that their team succeeds, you know, doing things like giving up their basement so that their team can have somewhere to build their robot. Uh, the regional winners are the team or lice that wins the competition. Um, so just according to qualifying scores and final rounds, just whoever ends up winning. The regional, regional award, I guess, uh, was the team or lines in the final match. So if you got to the final match but did not win, you also receive an award. Autodesk Visualization Award. This is for uh, student animations. The theme is different every year. I believe that's announced on January 3rd. Or is it already out? Um, I think it's coming out next it's, month. It's delayed. It should have been out. Oh, okay. okay. It should be hopefully this coming week. Okay, it's in, in the old time now. Okay, yeah. so um, keep in mind for that one, if you have, um, maybe if you have the resources to do visual uh, animation, if you have students interested in that, um, there's an award for for someone who clearly and creatively illustrates the spirit of first. Um, there's a Chrysler Team Spirit Award, enthusiasm, a lot of this comes from the stands. You'll, you'll only have two, maybe three team members down on the floor and the rest of your team is in the stands. Their job to cheer and you know, come up with their slogans, do dances, whatever, whatever needs to be done. Um, Delphi and Driving Tomorrow's Technology Award uh, creates an elegant and adve an advantageous machine feature. And this, obvious, this, this often has to do with the mechanism. So not necessarily your drive chain, um, but your mechanism may be the way that you handle the game piece. Um, you can get an award for that. There's a highest rookie seed award, yeah, rookies. Um, it's for the highest seeded rookie team after qualifying rounds. And I'll tell you, a lot of this time, a lot of the time, this the team that receives this award is within the top five and top ten teams, which is awesome for a rookie. So I mean, don't let yourself be constrained by the fact that you're a rookie. You can do it just like everyone else. Um, imagery award celebrates attractiveness and engineering and outstanding visual aesthetic integration. Um, so. That's, that's mainly, you know, keeping the theme throughout your team, um, like, you know, on your robot as well as in your t-shirts and your whatever, if you hit up things. In the pit area. Yeah, in the pit area, things. Um, so just overall your team award. Johnson & Johnson Gracious Professionalism Award. Um, sportsmanship and Gracious Professionalism that have defined. Um, judges awards are whatever the judges want to make them. So if you decide to be, I don't know, like build a two-wheeled robot, um, you might just get a, a, an award for that, regardless of how well it does. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, judges' awards are completely out there for them to define. So if you think you're special, go for it. Um, uh, the Entrepreneurship Award, this is great if your student has a DECA program, which is business, try it, yeah, try it recruit members, because um, there's an entre Entrepreneurship Award uh, for a business plan. That creates a business plan, each team budget involves a lot of money, and so it's very practical to create a business plan for your team and win an award for that. There's a Motorola Quality Award, um, machine robustness, as in it doesn't break, um, as, you, as you'll figure out nearly every single round, uh, nearly five, five, four or five of the six robots will break in some way, shape, or form or need improvements. Um, so a really good thing to kind of keep your stress level down during competitions is making sure that you're robust. Um, Rockwell Automation Innovation and Control Award. This one is going to be very interesting this year because we have a new control system which is going to allow for a lot of different options. Um, and it's up to your team to kind of investigate into that. At the November 15th workshop, um, a team in Oregon received one of, the, one, of the, uh, one of the beta systems. So they have the system and they're playing with it right now um, for, this, for this new year. So if you come on November 15th, you'll be able to see a little bit more about that and learn what you'll be working with, and it'll give you a big advantage in, uh, in the, the control, specifically the control award. Um, rookie All-Star All -Star Award, that's in general for the best rookie team, not only in the competition, but also in their image and the way they project themselves. Rookie Inspiration Award is for rookies who outreach to the community. Um, Industrial Safety Award, this is for teams who make specific efforts in improving safety at the regional and around other teams. Um, a lot of teams go around and hand out maybe a little pamphlet on how to be safe or give advice to other teams. Website award um, for student design and built website, um, as creative and innovative as you want. And the Xerox Creativity Award, um, which could be in design or in, in a design or machine component, whatever you define as creative. 